Hey, happy post New Year's to everybody. Hope everybody's having a great Tuesday, start of 2022. It's already off with a bang. Uh, appreciate all the prayers and thoughts. Thank you for my dad. Uh, we'll find out more information today about it. Okay, uh, we'll let everybody know. Uh, so just thank you for that, checking in on that. So here, here's the deal. When you're, when you're dealing, when you're purchasing a house, and you know, anytime stuff like this comes up, I just try to get it out to you guys. So hopefully somebody doesn't make the same mistake, okay? Because let's face it, financial education is not taught in the schools, okay? Which it should be. Everything else is taught, which makes no sense as far as the real world and, and trying to make it in the real world. You know, and financial, you know, education should be taught, I mean, at a very young age. Just imagine if kids learn how to, you know, about compound interest when they're this big, you know, uh, how much different this, this whole country would be. So that's another discussion, another video for another day. So when you deal with this, let's say you, you sell something, let's say you sell a car, okay, and you get cash for that car. So let's, let's call it 5,000 bucks, which is tough to find used cars these days. But, you know, let's say $5,000 and you don't have any documentation on that, okay? And you take that cash and you deposit it into your checking account, okay? And there's no, there's no paper trail, there's no nothing. Well, that becomes very difficult to use that, you know, use those funds. It's not because we think you're a drug dealer or anything else. It's just guidelines. What happened 13, 14 years ago in the last crash is that people borrowed money from other people uh, to purchase homes and that, that affected uh, along with many other factors of why we had the crash. So it's the biggest pain in the butt in the whole process is documenting where the money is coming from. If there's any large deposits, that, that can't be any source and season. Just think of these two S words, okay? Source and season, okay? Can you source where the funds are coming from and are they seasoned, okay? So what does season mean? So if you sell the car and we could provide the bill of sale, okay? And, and, you know, have the transfer documents, we can, you know, that's the seasoning of those assets. And then that's the source of those assets going into your account. Okay. If it just gets plopped in there and there's no seasoning, meaning there's no time frame and it just got plopped in there and, and, you know, and we can't make any connection to it. That's a major problem because, because then we have to back out those funds if we can't use it. Okay. I know it sounds different because this is not what you deal with on an everyday basis but just trust me on this it becomes a major problem if you just pop in money and so forth okay um so when you when you sell something big things have a bill of sale have that paper trail and, it, and if you do sell a car or a boat or anything make sure you get i always say get like a certified check obviously don't get a personal check because it could bounce and the people could be off and you know halfway across the country but get like a certified check um, and basically, you know, from that point, then you have a copy of check, then you have a bill of sale, then you have that same amount going in your account. Now you can paper trail it, showing, showing it, you know, going, going into your account, not just all of a sudden, uh, just, just pops in there. Okay. Very important source and seasoning. You have to think about those things when, when you deal with your assets. Okay. Don't move a lot of money around. Okay. Because then it becomes even more of a problem. Yes. You can transfer from your savings to your check and in the same bank and so forth, but it's easy enough to paper trail it. But I always tell people, just just cool it. Let's get the house, and then a, then after you get the house, you know you can get a, a brand new checking account if you want or something else. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Source and season. Okay. When it comes to assets, very very big, very important. If you don't do that, then you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna blame everybody else. You're gonna blame the loan officer. You're gonna blame the underwriter. You're gonna blame the title company. You're gonna blame the the realtor and so forth. Hey, listen, when you're dealing with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, we have to, you know, find those inroads, you know, to for, for the path of least resistance, okay? If you don't do that, then, you know, it's going to be a very, very frustrating experience, and it should be. It should be a very happy one when you get to the finish line, okay? And speaking of that, when you get to the finish line, what we do with our clients is that we order them pizza because we know the last thing you want to do, the last thing you want to do is cook, okay, when, when it comes time to move. So what we do is, is offer to order you guys pizza, uh, and then we can have that delivered the, the, you know, that same day of moving, we can do it a couple days later, uh, totally up to you. Okay. So that's just a cool thing that we provide for our clients. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions on that comment down below, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.